I used to try and scare school friends by planting a particular drawing in their pockets signifying death. Lee, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think? <laughs> what was the drawing? It was an owl. What? The Owl of Death. <laughs> <laughs> it's, actually, it's full title was actually the Hoot Owl Death Sign. Owl. Oh. What would you mean, the Owl of Death? What was it doing in this drawing? Hoot Owl Death Sign. That old chestnut. I could draw it for you if you like. <laughs> Greg. Yeah. I've got a pen. I've got some paper. I'll come over there. No, I'll, I'll, I'll come to you. Don't stand up next to me. It just highlights it. <laughs> <laughs> can you, uh, Greg? Can you? <laughs> So please draw the owl of death. So. <laughs> Don't look at it, David, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just imagine, just imagine you're innocently you went in your pocket, innocently <laughs> minding your own business. You go, oh, what's this in my friends would find that in their pocket and be... Not my friends, my deadly enemies. Right. <laughs> what, would, what would be the purpose of that? It was uh, for people who had crossed my friend and I. Well, what kind of things would they have to do to cross you? There was an English teacher who we uh, found a bit boring, so he uh, slipped one in his pocket. That was, the, uh, that was the highlight of the whole campaign, actually, <laughs> was that the English teacher once stood up in front of the class and was chatting away and went into his pocket and went, ah. Oh. And he went, sorry, everyone. Um, does anyone know anything about this? Because I've just... Did you, was the purpose of it to, to scare them? Like, you would tell yeah. them that later on it was you? Or... No, no, of course not. We were both nerdy cowards. <laughs> Did you, you created a sort of mythology around what might happen if you found the hoot owl of death in, in your pocket, it, In our minds, anyone who found the hoot owl of death in their pocket would uh, very shortly afterwards meet their demise. <laughs> Take a guess. What are you going to say? Is what it do we true? think, Phil? Do you think, um, do you think that is possible? I, th I think it's possible, but I think it's it's a lie. I think it's a lie. Okay. My... You say lie. You say lie. What about you, Lee? I say lie. Right, Greg. Yes. Truth or lie? Well, it would be pretty tragic if two uh, boys had spent their youth doing <laughs> that, wouldn't it? True. And it is indeed <laughs> true. Oh. Yes, it's true. Greg did try and scare school friends by planting a particular drawing in their pockets, signifying death. <laughs> well, that noise uh, signals time is up and it's the end of the show, and I can reveal that David's team are the victors by seven points to three. <laughs> but, of course, it's not just a team game. My individual liar of the week is Greg Davis. Yes, Greg Davis, whose uh, stories were so tall, some of them almost came up to his shoulder. Good night. <laughs>